All right, so the last one, guys, that we're going to deal with is a triangular prism. All right? Actually, we're going to go through all three for you guys because I like you. So for a triangular prism, all right, um, again, a triangular prism is the way that we identify a triangular prism is the base is now a triangle. So there's a couple um, ways we can look at this. This one is kind of deceiving, but it is a triangular prism. Now, why is this a triangular prism? Well, you could say, well, Mr. McLogan, the base of this is a rectangle. Yes, it is how it's figured or how it's showing. But you could lift that to its side so then it has a base of a triangle, and it would look something like this. Would you guys agree? Yeah. Yes. Now, again, the ident what we're trying to look at with this triangular prism is notice that the base is the same as the top. Do you guys agree with me? So rather than writing everything out, finding the area of the base, finding the area of the top, we can just say that to find the surface area, it's just going to be 2 times the base, right? Because whatever the area of the base is, you're going to have that same area up top. So let's just multiply that by 2, where b equals the area of the base. Now, the next thing is we have three more sides. Now, these sides might be the same length but they might not, right? So if this triangle is an equilateral, then obviously they're all the same. But if this is like a scalene, then each one of those areas could be different, all right? Kind of like the problem that you guys had. You guys had different side lengths, right? So every area was different. So therefore, we need to make sure we account for, and I'll just call this like the left, the right, and then front. Left plus right plus front. So you're going to want to find the area You're going to want to find the area of each one of those. Does that make sense? Kind of, a little bit. And we got one more to go guys. Before